Appreciate you guys for tuning in to yet another video. Guys, reptile support. It actually happened, finally. People that have been waiting, they probably have a thousand snake reins in their binder. They can finally rejoice and finally exhale as it finally is going to pay off a little bit. Let's touch on each one of the cards. First up, we got to talk about Dregs of the Abyss Nuru. It is a reptile level 4 light 0, zero effect monster with two different effects. The first effect says you can send this card from your hand to the graveyard and I guess that's for cost and then send one dark reptile monster from your deck to the graveyard the second effect says if this card is in your graveyard while you control no monsters or the only monsters you control are abyss monsters you can special summon this card but banish it when it leaves the field also you can only special summon reptile monsters obviously you know they were gonna do that to make sure that all hell doesn't break loose while you control this card special summon by this effect so a level four interesting there's it's almost like there's a great rank for that this uh, let's move on second up we got to talk about dregs of the abyss naya which is a dark level four reptile effect monster with zero attack and two thousand defense on this one two different effects as well the first effect says you can send this card from your hand to the grave and send one light reptile monster from your deck to the graveyard so very clearly the other one can dump the other one. This one can dump this one. This one can dump this one. Pretty easy to understand. Second effect says if this card is normal or special summon, you can add one abyss spell trap, spell or trap from your deck to your hand. So a searcher, not for everything, but at least for a spell or trap. And on top of that, it can dump the other one. So interesting as the other one can also do the same thing in a similar fashion, just in reverse or just bring itself out of the graveyard. So we're moving on to the third card, we talk got to talk about Froggy, which is a light level 4 reptile effect monster with 1800 attack and 1400 defense. So I guess it's a little bit of the beater of the deck. And it says you can only use each effect of Obscurity of the Abyss once per turn. If this card is sent from the grave field to the grave or special summon from the graveyard, you can target one face-up monster your opponent controls and one monster in their graveyard whose attack is higher than that monster and special summon the targeted monster in your opponent's graveyard to their field and then send the targeted monster on the field to the graveyard. So it's like a, a, a Freaky Friday body switch kind of thing going on. The other effect says if this card is in your graveyard, you can send one card from your hand to the graveyard, add this card to your hand so it can like Sinister Serpent spin it back to the hand. It's kind of interesting. Very, very strong start to at least reading these cards, guys, but I, I feel like there's just more, more to be seen, and we're going to move on down the list. Next up, we got to talk about Obscurity of the Abyss Zora, which is a dark level 4 reptile effect monster with 1500 attack and 1700 defense. Also has two different effects. The first effect says if this card is sent from the field to the grave or special summon from the grave, you can make your opponent draw one card, then add one abyss monster from your deck to your hand, except himself, obviously. Then both players send one card from their hand to the graveyard. That is a really wonky and interesting effect that I feel like is going to be maximized on. Also an amazing artwork. If this card is in your graveyard you can send one card from your hand to the graveyard and add this card to your hand so already guys you can see that the theme running in this deck is recursion obviously but that's without even listing some of the old reptile cards snake rain being one of them king of feral imps being another one it's already kind of leaning towards those cards are already kind of pointing at those cards mattering which is a really really good thing for people that have been waiting a very very long time for them to be relevant next up we got to talk about twilight of the abyss Kas. i hope i'm saying that right k-a-h-s which is a light level eight reptile effect monster with 400 attack and 2400 defense so already you can see that they're going to be based around level fours and level eights this card specifically says if this card is in your graveyard you contribute 
one monster you control special summon this card then your opponent can special summon one monster from their graveyard but negate its effects if this card is special summon you can target one level four or lower abyss monster in your graveyard special summon that monster but banish it when it leaves the field another interesting effect moving on to areet a r e h t I think y'all can figure this stuff out on your own but it's a dark with two thousand attack and eight hundred defense and also a level eight. First effect says if this card is in your graveyard you contribute one monster you control special summon this card then your opponent can add one monster from their graveyard to their hand so I'm not liking that every single card is giving your opponent some kind of plus but I imagine that something that I'm going to read at some point is going to punish them for that so you know I guess that kinda is what it is with that the second effect says if this card is special summon you can target up to two of your banished reptile monsters and return them to the graveyard so again more recursion in another way that a deck basically has to have in modern Yu-Gi-Oh! King of the Abyss Aron is the most interesting card that I've read so far of all of them which is a light level 8 reptile effect monster with 2500 attack and 2800 defense its effects read as follows super powerful effect if this card is in your graveyard you contribute two monsters special summon this card I feel like layer darkness is is gonna matter in some kind of way just my opinion I'm gonna move on though if your opponent adds a card to their hand except during the draw phase you can randomly send one card from your opponent's hand to the graveyard so there it is that's what we were waiting on if an opponent's monster is sent to the graveyard by a card effect you can add one light or dark reptile monster from your deck or graveyard to your hand except himself obviously so there it is guys that second effect is where we finally kinda understand why they're letting your opponent plus a little by little it says again and I'll read it again if your opponent adds a card to their hand except during the draw phase you can randomly send one one card from your opponent's hand to the graveyard Now I don't know if that's enough or powerful enough to be instantly meta but that's a good start to it at least being an interesting card I'll just say that moving on we got to talk about amnesia I actually thought this was amnesia when I first read it but it's queen of the abyss and she's a dark level 8 reptile effect monster with 2700 attack and 2100 defense so I guess these are kind of the boss monsters of the new archetype that we're clearly seeing this card says if this card is in your graveyard you contribute two monsters and special summon this card very similar to the other one the second effect says if your opponent special summons a monster from the grave you can send one card your opponent controls to the graveyard so a dingersu like effect interesting the last effect says very similar if you opponent opponent monster is sent from the hand or deck to the graveyard you can special summon one light or dark reptile monster from your grave except herself so all really really interesting effects the last of the monsters is what intrigued me the most and that is Ogdo Abyss Ogdo Abyss I'm guessing that's how you say these cards all of them have really wonky names that are gonna be changed anyway because that's just what the TCG, TCG does but this card says if this card is in your graveyard you contribute three monsters and special summon this card the second effect says once while this card is face up quick effect send all face up monsters to the graveyard except monsters there were special summon from the graveyard very very powerful effect quietly so literally the ability to send stuff that wasn't from the graveyard completely off the field that was special summon I can already see in some kind of way a card being drop blitzed or dark ruler no more or just negated and then completely blown off of the board that's a pretty strong effect and it's very very different and all of these can basically recover or recur in some kind of way and that's without even using some of the old reptile cards I didn't say a huge meta impact but I definitely can foresee this deck mattering a little bit and that's all you can ask for from Konami sometimes is just the deck mattering a little bit you can pretty much figure it out from there moving on to some of the spells and traps and that support origin of the abyss is the field spell for the deck which seems pretty decent and it says if a face-up reptile monster you control is destroyed by battle or by card effect 
from your opponent. You can target one card your opponent controls and send that card to the graveyard. The second effect says if this card in the field zone is destroyed, by an opponent's card effect, you can send cards from the top of your opponent's deck to the graveyard, equal to the amount of different reptile monsters in your graveyard. Now, in modern Yu-Gi-Oh, that may not be the best idea, but it at least is something different, and it's creating a new lane for a new field spell to do something different that you've never actually seen before. Because, let's face it, we've never actually seen reptiles be meta. That just is what it is. However, I do like that first effect in being able to basically say, I'm taking you down with me if you do anything to a card on my side of the field that's a face-up reptile monster. So I do like that effect. I like it a lot. Moving on, we got to talk about the Hollow Abyss, which is a continuous trap card in the archetype, and it reads as follows. During either player's main phase, you contribute one reptile monster, then target one monster in your opponent's graveyard and special summon it to your side of the field, but it is sent to the graveyard during the end phase. And it's a continuous trap that says during either player's main phase. This is a really, really powerful trap card that is definitely going to have some kind of potential. Really, really strong. The second effect says if this card is sent to the graveyard, send all face of monsters you control to the graveyard, except reptile monsters. So that's not really that bad of a back effect, especially if you build the deck correctly and you're already kind of vibing with this archetype and what it's presenting. These cards are pretty good. I'm going to say that now. And that's without even being done with them. The next card is Comparison of the Abyss, which is a normal trap card that you can only activate once a turn, which says Special Summon two Abyss tokens that are Reptile, Dark, Level 2, and zero, 0 to your side of the field. If there are eight or more Abyss cards in your graveyard, you can use the following effect instead. Send two Reptile Monsters with different names from each other's deck to the graveyard. So let me say that again. Send two Reptile Monsters instead with different names from each other from your deck to the graveyard. So obviously guys, this is probably the the dummy or chump block chump cre token creation ability to get these big monsters onto the board and then tribute them off to do really really powerful effects. So you don't, it's basically like scapegoatish, I guess, and I guess it's the fodder to load up the big monsters. I really like that. I like that effect. So all in all, guys, I really do feel like this is at least a decent start to a decent archetype. I, I definitely can say that. It's well designed. It makes sense. It's level four. It's finally reptile, and reptile cards have been untapped for a very, very long time. So I would highly recommend going to grab some of those cards. I appreciate you guys for tuning in. I am out. Look out for these other videos. They're on the way. Play on Wednesdays. See you guys later. I'm out. YG baby!